Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Don Hard Forever coming at you another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today you're gonna to be reviewing a Gemini Jets Qatar Airways Boeing Triple Seven Three Hundred ER in a one two hundred scale model. I purchased this model from Choice Toys based out of Overland Park, Kansas. This website is www.choicetoysinc.com. You can go to that website and see how you can go about getting this model as well. Other retailers such as Waffle Collectibles, Easy Toys, Airline Museum, and eBay had this model available as well. Let me give you some information about Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways was founded and established on November 22, 1993 and commenced operations on January 20, 1994. Qatar Airways is fully owned by the Qatari government and has been fully controlled by the government of Qatar since July 2013 after the country's sovereign fund bought a 50% stake from Qatar's former Prime Minister, Sheikh Hamad bin Jassamal Al Thani and other shareholders. The headquarters of Qatar Airways is located in the Qatar Airways Tower, located in Doha, Qatar, while the airline's main base of operations is located on the grounds of the Hamad International Airport which is located approximately 12 miles southeast of the downtown city center of Doha, Qatar. The airline operates a hub and spoke network, linking to over 150 international destinations across Africa, Central Asia, Europe, the Far East, Southeast Asia, the Middle East, North America, South America, and Oceania, from its base at Hamad International Airport, using a fleet of more than 150 aircraft. Qatar Airways is the official state-owned national flag carrier for the country of Qatar. And currently as of 2016, Qatar Airways is one of seven carriers to earn this prestigious honor of maintaining a five-star rating according to the international airline review firm Skytrax Magazine, Cathay Pacific, which is based out of Hong Kong, ANA All Nippon Airways, which is based out of Tokyo, Singapore Airlines, which is based out of Singapore, Isiana Airlines, which is based out of Seoul, South Korea, Hanan Airlines, which is based out of Beijing, China, and Garuda, Indonesia, which is based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, are the other carriers. This is the box that you're looking at here, folks. Where the model came in. You see the model You're on the box. You see the type of the aircraft that this model is. All the information right there. There's the Qatar title right there on the box. Okay, folks, this is the back of the box you see there. The Boeing 777 decal information right there, the Facebook decal information. You know, if you're a collector on Facebook, you, uh, if you don't have Gemini Jets or JC Wings as you like, probably want to add them on there because they always let you know what's getting ready to come down the pike as well. Okay? All right. This is the top of the box you see there, right there, folks. This is mostly for adults 14 years and under. Anybody under 14, you, my suggestion is probably start off the 1400 and go from there, okay? All right, folks, and this is the bottom box you see there, okay? You go to their website, gymnajets.com. All right, folks, this is the left side of the box you see there. All the information there, including the picture of the aircraft model. And this is the right side of the model box, folks. Same things on the left side. Same thing. All right? Okay, folks. This is the model stand that came with the model and everything. You see the pattern right there? I mean, when you put it on the stand, you ain't going to worry about scratching your model when you put it on the stand. And there's wooden at that as well. All right, folks. And those are the gear replacements. I will go into details later on in the model review to show you what the purpose for those are, okay? Okay, folks, with all the information about Qatar Airways, how their airline came into establishment, into existence, the boxing, the model stand, and the gear replacements that I'm going to detail more on later on, here is the model, folks. There it is, folks. Gemini Jets Qatar Airways Boeing 777-300ER in a 1-200 scale model. Now let me give you some information about the Qatar delivery and how that came about. 
The Qatar Airways livery was unveiled on March 8, 2006 at the International Tourism Borsi Berlin Travel Convention in Berlin, Germany. And even though this livery is only 10 years old, it has already become one of the most recognized liveries in the airline industry today. Now with that said, let's get on down to business with all the details on this aircraft that I've been waiting to show you. Shall we? Okay folks, we're going to start on the left side of the aircraft, the front as always. Start at with uh, the nose gear, the gear doors right here with the partial registration number on the gear door, AC. Then there's the cockpit windows right there, and then there's the windshield wipers right there. Now that little right in Arabic, I have no idea what that means. I tried looking it up, I had no success. If anybody that uh, is from Qatar or any from that area didn't know what that means, please post that down at the bottom of the review uh, comment section, okay? I would love to know, all right? Okay, and then we get up here. Let's get right here, the little blue dot right there. That's the One World logo. In case you didn't know, Qatar Airways became a member of the One World Alliance on October 30th, 2013, which consists of 15 airline members from six inhabited continents, becoming the first golf carrier to sign with one of the three alliances. And then you come over here, you see the Qatar title here across the fuselage here, and then the two-tone color right there, the gray and white. That's pretty unique. Impressive. All right. And then we come over here. See that Arabic writing right there? Besides the Qatar title you see there? That word means Al-Qatari in Arabic. Al-Qatari, okay? And then you see the uh, inboard landing lights right there, okay? And now you're looking at the engines right here. These engines you see here, folks. These are the German Electric GE9115B1 engines that Qatar Airways uses on their Boeing 777-300ER aircraft. And you see the little cone right there, what have you right there. And then there's the gears right there. I like those gears. Mm, awesome. Okay. Now I'm going to let you see the front angle of these engines, all right? Okay, folks, now you're looking at the front uh, angle of these engines and the fan blades they do spin. Okay. Now we're looking at the front of the aircraft. We're starting with the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the nose gear lights, the nose gears, and the gear doors right there. And then we'll scoot over this side here, folks. See the inboard landing light on this side, as well as the engines over here, and they spin as well, the fan blade. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to take it back to the other side of the aircraft. There's more information to show you on that side as well. Now, this logo you see here on the engine, as well as the tail, there's the logo back there as well. All right, the Qatar logo. Qatar Airways has the Oryx, which is the national animal of the state of Qatar, as its logo, as you see here. You don't know what an Oryx is. It's a gazelle, all right? Now we're on to the uh, other parts of the aircraft model. All right, folks, now we're looking at the rake wingtips you see there, folks, along with the strobe light here and the red navigation light as well, all right? All right, folks, we're at the back of the aircraft. We start up here at the upper part here. You see the Qatar flag. This flag represents as the state-owned national flag carrier for the state of Qatar. All right? And then we go down here below the windows here. You see the registration number, A7-BAC. If you didn't know, this is the third Boeing 777-300ER to enter Qatar Airways fleet. First test flight for this aircraft took place on July 9, 2008, and was delivered to Qatar Airways on August 29, 2008. And then there's the Qatar logo right there, the Oryx, the Gazelle that I told you about earlier. Okay. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft. You see the APU exhaust hole right there, along with the strobe light. You see there as well. 
Now I'm going to let you see this whole entire aircraft from the rear view angle. There you have it, folks. The whole entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Okay, folks. We're on the right side of the aircraft. We're starting here with the cockpit windows there. The Arabic writing right there. I have no idea what that is or what it stands for. Then there's the gear doors right here with the partial registration number. Then there's the nose gear right there. Then there's the front cargo container door. And then above the right up here, the front part of the fuselage, you see the Qatar title right there across the fuselage as well. And then you see the Arabic writing, as I told you, still for Al Qatari. And then there's the inboard landing light right there. And then there's the Qatar logo on the big GE90 engine on here. And then there's the gears over here as well, okay? Okay, we got the rake wing tips on this side as well, along with the strobe light and the green navigation light right there, okay? Okay, folks, we're at the back of the park aircraft. You see the rear cargo container door. You see the boat bin door right there. You see the registration number, the Qatar flag, and the Qatar logo on this side of the tail as well, okay? Okay, folks, before I do a, a, a bird's eye top view and the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft, here's some more information about Qatar Airways and the 777 300ER information. Qatar Airways ordered 34 Boeing 777 300ERs for their fleet, with 31 of those are currently operating in service, with another three are on back order at the time of this video review. Okay, before I uh show you the top view and the ability view of this aircraft i'm gonna roll this model for a second it does roll a little bit okay so what that said here it is okay we're at the top of the aircraft folks there's the cockpit windows the windshield wipers the anti-collision beacon light you see there folks Antennas right there. Okay. The ADF antennas in 3D. There's the Wi Fi box, the two antennas. And the two dots you see there as long as over here those are the illuminated lights that light up this tail when it flies during nighttime and then the wing walkway along the wing right here the engine fuel dump valve and the rake wing tip as well okay now we on this side the wing walkway the GE 90 engine the dump valve and the rake wing tip and the strobe light here as well. Okay, the uh, partial gear door, the gear door right there, the nose gear, the pressure relief valve right here. Then you see the Qatar uh, title right there. And then there's the beacon A collision light right here by the A. There's the hole where the stand goes in at, the Gemini Jets logo, the two antennas, the pressure relief valve back here, the tail strike, and the APU housing there, folks. And then there's the gears right there, folks. They do tilt. And then you see the engines right here, the registration number, fuel dump valve right there and the rake wing tip and the strobe light right there same on this side as well the engine fuel dump valve and the rake wing tip and the strobe light on this side as well now I'm show you the top view and the belly view now I'm going to put it on that stand you see there that I showed you earlier so I'm going to put it on the stand right now okay there it is folks you got it here on the model stand on this angle now I'm gonna show you the front angle of this aircraft all right 
Okay, there it is, the front angle, folks. The whole entire the big engines, the gears, and everything. All right, plug that in uh, takeoff mode, okay? All right, folks, this is the right side of the uh, aircraft with the stand and everything. You know, the planes flexing and everything, all right? Here it is in the tail cam angle, folks, all right? Okay, folks, before I take this model to stand, I got in this position for a reason so I could take these gear, gears off here and sh put, show you the purpose of these gear plates, okay? I'm getting ready to take them off right now. Okay, now I got them all. Now I'm going to show you this model in a different angle, all right? Okay, there it is on the stand without the gears. It's in flight mode. Now you got two options after this though. You can choose to leave them in that uh, position without the gears. That's the purpose for these gear replacements, right? Replace the gears, okay? Or you can choose to leave them with the gears on there. Like it's taking off and landing, what have you. I choose to leave mine with the gears on, okay? That adds more value to the model, all right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and put these gears on here and take this model off the stand and wrap this video review up, okay? All right, folks, now the seating configuration. Qatar Airways has three seating configurations for this aircraft, but this particular Qatar Airways 777-300ER seats 335 passengers in a two-class configurated cabin layout. Now here's the breakdown, folks. From rows one to seven, that will be from here to here. You have 42 business class seats. And rows 10 to 43, that will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have 293 economy class seats, which brings a total of 335 seats. Qatar Airways currently utilizes their Boeing 777 300ERs from Doha, Qatar to Abu Dhabi, Algiers, Amman, Bahrain, Bangalore, Bangkok, Beijing Capital. Berlin Tegel, Cairo, Chicago O'Hare, Colombo, Daman, Dallas Fort Worth, Delhi, Dempasar, Dubai, Frankfurt, Gonzale, Houston Bush Intercontinental, Islamabad, Jeddah, Karachi, Kuwait, Lahore, London Heathrow, Johannesburg, Manila, Melbourne, Miami, Montreal, Mumbai, Munich, New York JFK, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Puckett, Ryder, Seoul Ichion, Shanghai Pudong, Shiraz, Sydney, Washington Dulles, Kuala Lumpur, Hanoi, and Philadelphia. Those are all the routes. However, there has been a change on two routes in particular from Doha to Philadelphia. It is now utilized with an Airbus A350-900 XWB. And from Doha to Johannesburg is now utilized with a Boeing 787-8. That is all I have for this review, folks. Please rate and subscribe and leave me your comments and suggestions. And I want to know what's your opinion and objection about this video review, this model review for, for that matter. I don't know if you have this model in your collection or you plan on getting this model. I highly recommend this model for your collection. This is one quiet sleeper uh, airline. They start off slow and they eventually sell out before you know it. The A380 sold out pretty quick. Sold out. It started off slow, but it sold out pretty quick, okay? So with that said, take care, God bless, there's more coming, all right?